Hi everyone, just a quick intro before we get into the real video. Uh, I made the very lewd mistake of accidentally not saving about 20 minutes of the intro to the next video, so it cuts in a bit awkwardly. I think I was saying something along the lines of General uh, no longer being a racist again, and that was spurred on by me basically saying that this turtle has a lot of new stuff to explore. She doesn't know much about it because uh, she was a racist and so she wants to essentially uh, learn everything she can about this newfound human society and culture and and so yeah we're going to join her in that. So if you don't understand why I have all, all of a sudden sort of started talking about general being a racist again, the reason is because like her we know nothing about this this culture and we want to explore them and explore this human world and all the rest so that explains that i also did give a shout out a uh, my once per eight year shout out to who used to go by the name of x fishigo bye bye he was a child he's now an adult with the very adult moniker username of uh fakashima i can't remember the second part of the name, but I do remember the Fukushima. Yeah, Fukushima is now an adult, and about eight years ago, I I gave him a shout out in one of my videos, and he left a comment a few days ago, and it warmed my heart. And he basically said some very nice stuff, and it's amazing to think that after all this time, there uh, are some of you still around, and I'm still around, and I love it. So to Fukushima, ex go bye bye, I see you. And watch out for the, the next shout out in uh, another eight years time. Anyway, let's jump into the video. Hopefully it's not as awkward as I remember it being uh, at the, at the, uh, the cutoff, but uh, you be the judge of that, not me. Enjoy. As I was saying, we should be exploring everything. You may remember from last time, Jenel has very little experience with humans, uh, not least because she used to be a racist until she had her experience with a human priest resurrecting slash falling in love with her. Uh, she gave them no time. So she knows nothing about the human people, their culture, their lands. And following on from, from her lack of experience, uh, we too will will explore all the world, gain all the knowledge, and uh, reveal all the fog of war. Okay, so we are at the Eastvale logging camp. Let's hand this quest here in first to Eldrin, a journeyman tailor. Good day to you. Are you here from Stormwind? We told you before, we don't have any money left to spare for Lady Prester's coffers. Can't you see that I have a family to feed? Oh, yeah, rock high bore me. I mean, we've got some food for you here, mate. You explain why Brother Wilhelm sent you. Eldrin's angry, defensive posture softens as you explain, and eventually you see the shine of tears in his eyes. Miles away, it is busy serving the light as he is, yet he still finds time to help us. It pains me to burn him so, yet again, he's already done so much for us, you see. Things have been hard this year, so I've been going without so Sarah and Eric don't have to, and... Well, thank you. Bless Brother Wilhelm and bless you, General, even though you're a high elf. Here, I know it's not much, but Sarah makes them for the locals. Maybe you can find some use in it. Take it. It's the least we can do in return for your selfless deed. Linen bag. That is extremely useful. Thank you, Eldrin. I appreciate that. Oxometer. What a strange elven name. Let's put that elf, that linen bag to some use. Very good. Hello, Eric. You have extremely buff forearms. Okay. Sara Timberlane. I I suppose they're married. No surname shared though. Anyway. Red linen, red linen, red linen goods. Fuck me, that's a mouthful. Uh, 
The Defias gang in Norshire wears burlap masks, but the Defias in Elwyn wear linen, which I can make use, which I can use to make fine linen goods. Bring me red linen band- bandanas, and I'll use them to fashion something for you. Defias gang members have camps pocketed throughout Elwyn. No problem. Oh, that's a cool waist, actually. Oh, I like that. Very cool. Yes, very, very cool indeed. Okay, Sarah, we'll do that for you. Uh, what else do we have around here? Just so I... Oh, there are a few more quests to pick up. Let's explore some of these houses. See what we've got going on. James Cl Clark. We can kill him if we want to. Interesting. Hmm. We won't senselessly kill. That's not what Jenon's about. Also, she doubts whether she could. He... Uh, has a scary bandana, some cool bangs to his hair. He looks tough. Supervisor Raylan. I've got a real problem on my hands. I have a deadline looming for an order of lumber, and I'm running out of time. The wolves and bears north of here have chased my workers away from the bundles of wood that they've already chopped. I've already talked to Deputy Rayner about clearing the animals, but I need someone to go collect the wood for me. If you could collect eight bundles of wood for me, I might just make my deadline. Okay, we could do that. Anything else in these buildings? We have a general and trade supplies guy, Drake here. Uh, a bowyer, Relic. Maybe we can sell him a few of our uh, sundries. So we need that Dwarven Martha later to feed to the, what's it called, the Griffin. In fact, I think I want to keep everything and simply pick up cooking when I can uh, to make use of some of this stuff. So for now, I'm actually okay with keeping what we've got. A horse breeder here, so I think... Hmm. Yes, so we need to be exalted with humans and we can buy a mount at level 40. Yes, and she's just telling me same thing. Thanks for the information, Katie Hunter. Right, and here we have Terry Parlin. He is a lumberjack. What can I do for you? Greetings, General. At last, they sent aid. There's a large camp full of gnolls led by a mighty gnoll known all over Elwyn as Fed Fennel. Rumour has it he's been eaten by his own rivals. I digress. The camp is further up to the north past Stone Cairn Lake. It's tucked away in a distant corner that the guards don't patrol, so the gnolls run rampant out there. Do us all a favour and wipe out a full brigade of them, and we'll have at least a week of sound sleep. <laughs> okay. We can do that. A few uh, nodes of herbs. But before we go run in that direction, I believe that's all the quests there. So that's a, a silver leaf over there. There is a hut in that direction. I think that's just the ones that we've been to. That's fine. Oh, that's a hunter that's marked that. Okay. I remember as well, we need the mangy wolves. So if we see any of those around, we have to be sure to pick those up. It's all getting a little bit high level though now, level nines. So we should be a bit careful. Still only level eight. Lefts, Ollie, these are higher level guys. Uh, this is earth root. Can't go for that. Not yet. I'm wondering perhaps maybe we should have continued down on these quests down here. You know, got a few more levels. Uh, but hey ho. You know, we like a little bit of a challenge. It's okay. Uh, Alright, let's kill them. Clear a route to the What's it called? What is it called? Herb, that's the one. Oh god, and now this boy's patrolling around. Gosh. You know what I haven't tried? Oh shit. There we go, rocket blast. I fucking missed. Oh you bitch. Come on, rank one first bolt, there we are. No mana at all. That's fine. We can meditate. Has to be quick. 
There we are. Wow, did you see that? That was actually flew in midair in a pretty cool pose. Uh, it was like arms out Superman sort of pose there. That was impressive. Okay. Because I, I, I may not have told you the full extent of of uh, Jenel's career, but before she was a model, I mean, she was discovered during a uh, cheer competition. She was a cheerleader doing some pretty, I mean, did you see that 12 there? That's from cheer, that's her cheer background. She likes to continue to do, you know, there, there again, the 12s. Uh, she likes to continue doing 12s every so often just to uh, keep up with her, her cheer moves, but she was a cheer person leader and she was noted as being exceptionally attractive and from there she just became a, 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 a pro good looker and that was her her life but yeah she just likes to practice the 12 to keep it all you know nice and fresh in her memory keeps that that automatic that you see there and again i mean sometimes she's, she's a bit excessive to be honest but it definitely keeps it an automatic reflex in her head right a few more graves here. Okay, don't twirl over the graves, General. That's disrespectful. But she is a high elf. She doesn't understand. Okay. Right. So these are all yellow quests, so they should be quite acceptable to do. Not as difficult as I'm perhaps making out. Uh, and we have got some friends around here who could potentially help us. So the pumpkin pie one, that was definitely back. Yeah, that was back at those farms. Oh, there's a night elf scum there. Gosh. Hmm. Okay, what was the murloc quest? Bounty on murlocs. Yep, we just have to do some stuff there. Ah, these graves. So, you'll be noticing these more and more. But these are from hardcore players who have died. And uh, it leaves a grave there for posterity. I like it. It's a nice effect. Although, I, I wonder, eventually they will have to, I'm sure. Uh, oh, God. I help that guy. I don't like helping. General is not... She hasn't yet got the generosity of spirit she needs. Her modeling career, I mean, it was a solo venture and it was a dog eat dog world out there. So she isn't one for uh, for really uh, helping out a, a person without some sort of gain for herself. God, what's going on here? These Murlocs, they have some, they have some speed, have some health. Here we go. Okay, another rank, oh, there we are. Oh, you're a private, fifth, level 51, that's why, okay. Uh, here we are. Okay, there's a lot of people around here, so I, I'm just going to be tagging these fairly rapidly to be sure that we're the ones that, uh, that you know, that we get our share of the, the mobs we need. Yeah, I should probably sit down and let's try this out. I just want to. Oh fuck me! How did that fail so bad? I bet this looks awful to all of you guys, but that's okay. We're practicing. This is pretty good kiting, though I must say. Oh, a bandage? How pro am I? Okay. Oh wow, oh shit, more mobs, that's bad. I'm trying to show off a little bit and it's uh, it's failing. Okay, let's slow this guy as well. There we go, that's that one down. Let's not pull any more. As soon as I can, rank run Frostbolt is coming out. There we are. God, we, oh my god, we have to just run. We are just running. Come on, General. Come on. It's good that she's stayed in, in tip-top form for so long, you know, with the cheer, the modeling, 
good diet, all the rest, because you know these Mylocks, they, they practice running constantly. Well, swimming more than running, uh, and they cannot keep up. So she absolutely has an edge on them. Ah, God, we should have thanked that nice righteous paladin that gave us the buff. Uh, he didn't need to do that, but he did. So if we come across him, we will reach out, thank him, buff him. Reciprocation, because in that case, you know, we're not doing it solely from the goodness of our own, own hearts. Uh, and that fits with her character, Jal's character. We're doing it as a reciprocation. Okay, he needs some help. Let's peel one off. Oh fuck, okay, well I tried there. Very, uh, <laughs> I, I slightly tried. Okay, there's a wolf there as well. Um, we're just gonna fireball until stuff happens. This is a busy area. Quite manic. There we go, this should be it. Nice. Okay, we're gonna stay right at the outskirts here. We're low ish health, but I think we can just take this guy. Our mana is good enough. It seems like we need about half mana in order to uh, in order to have enough to kill a mob. And they do not drop these readily. Nice, so it seems like restarting the computer definitely helps. There's something else with Turtle Well. They have two uh, executable files that you can use, which ostensibly seem to do the same thing. WoW.exe and WoWFOV.exe. FOV, I, I presume, stood for Field of View, but I haven't seen any difference uh, between the two of them in terms of you know, gameplay or, or display. So if you have any insight into what the difference is, I would be interested to know. There we go. Let's help this guy out. Are you going to take that one? There's only one on you now. Mana is low. Maybe I should think about using... No, I was going to say Fire Blast more sparingly, but actually, it doesn't take a tremendous amount of mana compared to what I thought. Let's see what happens if I do this. No, that's so shit. Okay, so it takes a, a, a very long cast time. Okay, so, so far, I have wasted three of three of these explosive rockets. That is good going, Jal. Yeah, very fit, but she has an extremely poor hand-eye coordination. I'll give her that. Right, another Merlock there. Level 10. Okay. Right, mana is good. Let's go. We should be hitting a rank up in a second. Ooh. Okay, he drank a potion. Seemed like there was a bit of a cast time for him on that potion. Who are we going to go for next? Maybe we should group up with this guy. Well, I've thrown the off route toward him. If he'd like to take it. He's a level 8 as well, so... Ah, uh, last one. Fair enough. Let's see. There we go. Oh, dingy ding ding. There we go. That's what I like to see. Let's get some more wood while we're just here. Okay, one more level and we get talents. I am absolutely going Frost, as I've made clear from the off uh, for the first episode. Yeah, Frost is is my, my play style. Uh, lots of maneuverability, versatility, not as much damage, but I think for me, I, I like to be able to uh, hop about, jump about, 
uh, twist and turn. I, I think you get that mostly from, from Frost. In fact, I don't know much about Arcane. I feel like I read somewhere that they changed the Arcane spec to make it more viable in Classic. But I I can't remember for the life of me how they did that or, or to what extent they did that. Uh, so it might be worth trying that out. So here we go, we've got two mobs here. I'm just sort of hoping this guy's gonna pot him, I think. Okay, so he's almost dead. Oh, fuck. Let's just kill this guy and then let's just run away. All right, here we go. There we are. Genel, nice and quick. We'd love to see it. Is he gonna pull one of these? If he does, that would help us. There we go. Okay. Right, we can take this guy now. Rank one Frostbolt. Okay, keep it kiting, keep it kiting. Another rank one. Oh, let's not run too close to them. Fireball. Fireblast. There we go, that's fine. Rank one. And one more rank one. There we go, nice. Okay, let's just get a bit of quick mana going there. Let's use a bandage too. Get back into the game. Hmm. Yeah, so she was never really, Jenna was never really one for uh, doing handiwork or anything like that. So she's quite poor at uh, the old tying of a bandage. But. She expects that with practice, she'll get better, just like she's done with everything else she's she's put her mind to, like cheer. She was, she excelled at that, uh, gymnastics as well. And then clearly at uh, the modeling, you know, being a pro good looker, she excelled at that too. And she expects that she puts her mind to first aid. It's not something she's ever you know, really done you know, using her hands before, but she expects she could she could get half decent with it if she keeps going. Right, this guy looks like he's partially in a tree. Right, rank one. Good. Ooh, some more Murlocs around here actually. Perhaps we should head out as is somewhat busy over there. There we go. Any more herbs about? Oh gosh. I keep missing the fact that they're healing themselves. That's it. Smack him. Smack him in the head. Okay. Sorry, Jal, you bored me there with the smacking of the head. You kept missing. I mean, I know it's a heavy stave, but perhaps we need to get you something a bit lighter, maybe like a dagger or elsewise. Right. Here's our target. Oh god, is he oh my gosh, he's getting too close to other enemies. Oh shit. You have to run. Let's help no, let's not help that guy. In fact, actually I could help. Uh reason being. Yes. So I think General could justify helping out that character there to entice them to group up with us. They are clearly a higher level, therefore stronger and could take some of these hits for us so we can stop having to run about. Uh, so perhaps I could buff them, be nice ostensibly, and curry their favour enough that they invite us to a group, us, a lower level to a group. Although we only have two left. Hmm. Ah, I was going to try and help out there. Okay, let's pull this one. If we need to, we have mana potions. I may use it just to speed things along. 
And soon enough, we'll have a, a few alchemy spells of our own once we get alchemy up a little. So yes, that is another impetus for us to to pick all the herbs that we we can find. Ah, pioneer cloak, eh? Eight armor. Oh, very nice. Oh, it actually looks pretty cool as well. I like it. It's like a backwards baby's bib. Oh, fuck me. That's what happens when you zoom in. Okay. Turn and fire. Right. He's in a mana pot. Rank 1 Frostbolt. There we go. Okay. Rank 2 Frostbolt. Could I get a long cast time on this one off? Let's try it. Come on. Come on. There we are. Wow. One hit out of four. Beautiful. You'd love to see it. Okay, another mob there. What did this guy have? Something that we couldn't pick up, I presume. Any other items that we really should be wearing that we're not? Billy Club. Uh, I guess we could see if there's something we can drop for that. Because it probably would sell for something. Oh fuck, I didn't see the other guy. Oh fuck me. They're a gang. Shit. General, run. Use your legs. They're very long. Uh, run past the sheep. Maybe they'll want the sheep more than you. God, how did I not see those? They were hidden behind these absolutely massive trees. Imagine these trees in real life. I mean, there's no way that you get this many trees of this size uh, in real life. You know, they compete with each other. And they wouldn't be able to get as much water, you know, you get one massive tree that outcompetes all the rest usually depending on the amount of rainfall. Perhaps it rains a lot in this area, but I, I don't see it raining that much. I don't, I don't remember it ever. I'm sure it does rain over here, but I can't remember any rain occurring in Goldshire or wherever we are. Where are we? This is, what do they call Elwyn Forest, of course. There we are. One more fin. Who can we take? Can't take these guys. This one, he seems on his lonesome. Oh, and then the gnolls. Yes, of course. That is not a mangy wolf. That cast time on the potions is getting me. What are they doing? They're just stopping to like unstopper the potion. Is that what's going on? Rank one. Oh god. Instead, let's fire blast. Rank two frostbolt should be enough. There we are. Good. There we go. Okay, let's sit down. Have a little respite. Get some mana back. At the same time, we don't need these at all. In fact, oh, actually, we wanted to give one of them to that guy. Do you remember that guy? He was by this farm, I think, and he had this that blue question mark over his head, so a repeatable quest. He wanted some refreshing spring water. So because of that, we will hang on to it. Uh, is there anything that we can drop? We can drop these things. Uh, we'll think about it if we need to. Anyway, for now, we have to kill these outrunners and runts. Okay, the frostbolt. God. Oh, he. Okay. He got, me, got a crit on me. He 
is Prowl, is it? Oh god, there's a few of them now. Can I make it through here? Yes. Pumpkins. Stolen Elwyn Pumpkin. What was that from? And what was the Lost Guards? Hmm. Travel north along the river and find the guards or their remains. So, I will need to do that as well. I wonder if I may have missed it. Anyway, for now, let's go to these pumpkins. I wonder... Oh, delicious pumpkin. Mm, we'll see. We'll get there. Rank one. Oh, okay, so we do have to kill prowlers. My bad. Prowlers and young forest bears. So this is a quest-heavy area. What did he have to drop? I am backpedaling there. You know, you hate to see it. We have to drop something, aren't we? Okay. Good. It is interesting. So these are stolen pumpkins. Just thinking about this. Stolen pumpkins are just placed randomly on the floor by trees. I mean, are they stolen and then replanted, perhaps? Or, or what's going on? This is Pumpkin Thieves Quest. Does it tell us the logistics around this? Uh, the gnolls are getting bolder. Yeah, I can't really see. Made off of the pumpkins. They just made off with them. They made off with them and then they just placed them next to trees. How interesting. You sort of think that they would, you know, sort of plop them all down together, maybe in some sort of uh, basket or a uh, more suitable sort of carrying container. But no, they just pl place them randomly by trees surrounding their camps. What is this? A mechanic stool. Now, it's a bit weird, isn't it? What do they do? Just sit down next to the pumpkins? Perhaps that's what they do. They sit down and just pat the pumpkins. It's a possibility. I don't know much about gnolls. Genel doesn't know much about gnolls. That could be their pastime. In fact, maybe they don't eat pumpkins at all. Maybe they simply worship them. Okay. There we are. Okay. Something else you do like to see is the experience going up fairly rapidly. Uh, in comparison to to retail classic, the uh, experience would be. I mean, I'd be probably about one and a bit bars by now, but because I've got PvP on as well, plus just the they've enhanced experience gained naturally in this game. Uh, it is. It is a great sort of, uh, what would you call it? Like a, not peace of mind, it's a, uh, one of those things that improves your, your life. Oh God, fuck me with words. Uh, it's like that meme with that guy who's trying to find words and his face is all distorted. It's a, a life improvement phrase, a life improvement change. No idea what the word is. Fuck me, there's me trying to find this word and in doing so, I don't look at my health or anything else and general dies. Wow. Wow. And where do I res? Uh, nowhere else but in uh, Northshire Abbey. How fantastic. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spirit res so that I 
uh, discover this area and then I'll run us back off camera to where we died so you guys have to be you have to put up with that all right I will see you all in a short while